Hi. My name is Timothy Trespass, and I'm a human being who's found himself targeted and given more gallons, covertly drugged with hallucinogens for years, tortured. Uh, anyway, it's been a while since I've made any videos because I, I'm afraid that the nice people we live with will see them and get freaked out and ask us to move again. Already when we moved in, the first day we were there, they said, oh, you gotta move out. And I guess they've been nice enough to change their minds. Since we're really not that bad people, we don't make that much trouble. Uh, just that everything we had smelled horrible from all the chemicals we put on it, trying to clean it. And yes, we're still suffering from the invisible whatever. And I've learned that under UV light, black light, UVA, whatever frequency, uh, these things glow. These invisible things glow blue and white. The little round ones that move, microscopic, blue. The little silken fibers, white. And uh, when I peel off my skin, underneath is a layer of white fibers. And they feel like they're moving around for days after they get in your skin, even though I can't see with the microscope anything actually moving. Um, so, so, you know, I need to set up my microscope and do some more real research because the microscope I'm using is just made out of two binocular and eyepieces. Um, whoa! Ah, and uh, I have been, you know, struggling to survive. Literally, physically, you know, like every moment I'm wondering, you know, am I going to die now? Am I going to have a stroke? What's going to happen next? Uh, headaches. The worst headaches you can imagine. My vision. I'm losing my vision. I can see these things in my eyes and on my eyes, especially when I take a, a light through a lens and look through it and you can see it shining through to the retina and illuminates all these things moving around. Uh, excuse me. And then under the black light when you look at my skin you'll see that it's completely covered in brown spots. Spots that absorb UV. My hands are black. My arms are black except on the undersides where they didn't get exposed as much. The knuckles and parts of the joints that bend are a little less dark, but wherever this stuff is, it seems to absorb UV light or turn you into something that absorbs UV light. Now that may just be a side effect. I don't know. Uh, also affected my circulation because of this, whatever this black stuff is in my blood, it diffracts light and makes rainbows and probably diffracts radio waves. Uh, seems to be, well, if it's increasing in, in quantity, in volume, then it must be displacing something in my blood. And I found that frequently I feel hypoxic uh, or whatever it's called, like I'm not getting enough oxygen to my brain. And I get dizzy and weak and tired. And and the other thing that's really messed up is because I guess because of the circulation or something, I don't know. When I sit in one place or lie down to sleep, uh, after 10, 15, 20 minutes, I'm in pain. My body hurts terribly. And I move to try to make it feel better. And it, oh, it just... It's, so painful. If I sit like cross-legged or on my 
on my feet or whatever for a little while, five minutes, ten minutes, I fall on the floor in pain. I can't stand up. It's that painful. And it takes a while for it to come back, the, the feeling. Um, I'm not able to regulate my body temperature properly, so I'm constantly sweating whenever I do any exertion, any motion, movement, work. Um, I also have in my right leg, right uh, in the, the, the thigh, the, the femoral artery there, I have kept a microwave transceiver next to my femoral artery for years, my cell phone. And now, uh, frequently, I feel a pulsing. Uh, it started out as I thought my groin was vibrating, but no, it's the, the artery in the leg buzzing, pulsing, and squirting. And it actually feels as if there's some kind of clot or blockage or an uh, restriction or something that makes the blood squirt through squirt, 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 squirt. It's very unpleasant and rather frightening because I believe that whatever this stuff is, is systemic and that it can travel freely through your body. Uh, literally, in the hotel when we were exposed to this stuff by the billions, I was peeing out live creatures. And I would hold the cup up to the light and see all these tiny little things jumping out, shooting in the air. And then the cup melted in my hand and the urine began to drip out onto the floor. I proceeded to throw it away. Have you ever had your urine melt a plastic cup? I have. Uh, so this stuff lives right through the digestive tract. So we're talking about genes from a tapeworm or something to prevent uh, digestion. The more you look at it, the more it appears to be synthetic engineered biology and quite likely biology that is targeted to my genome and Petra's genome because it doesn't seem to affect anyone else while completely covering everything we own and us. Um, as far as... Uh, man, you know, I hate the winter because A, it's cold and B, I can't control my body temperature so I'm always sweating and horrible and I look like heck, you know. Uh, I actually look okay today. I've been drinking Insure, which my insurance company won't give me, and it's $16 for, for six of them, or 12 of them, or something. It's ridiculous. Six of them. 11 bucks. I don't know. Uh, and that's probably the only thing besides God's grace that is keeping me here on this planet. Uh, we still have the V2K. It's a nightmare and the brain fog and the difficulty achieving anything or following through on anything or remembering what I'm saying or you know all this stuff uh, I've forgotten already anyway um, I have a bunch of other videos I'd like to show I don't know if I'll ever get to but one day at a time one moment at a time and I just keep telling myself that God has a reason for this. You know, we try to justify, rationalize the things that are happening to us, no matter how horrible they are. We need to find a way mentally to survive them. And so I've come up with this thing that somehow this is what God needs me to do, this assignment. And I don't know what it is I'm supposed to do exactly. Uh, just keep, you know, and this, this videos I'm sure have caused me additional suffering and pain and, you know, slow kill murder piled on top of more bugs and, you know, it's one of these things like, all right, 
there's a silent genocide, a genocide going on, a democide. And do you want to be quiet about it, keep your head down and hope you survive, or should you scream and yell so that everyone can hear you before they put a bullet in your brain? I mean, what's the, the right choice, you know? And then I gotta look at the Bible, the book, and figure out, well, what's really going on? Does God really want me to forgive my enemies and let them kill me, do nothing about it? Or am I supposed to do something like my enemies want me to do, trying to get me to kill people and burn down buildings and God knows what else. They've come up with such hard, you know, kill yourself, Timothy, kill yourself. Like, then there's the, the talking to the voice inside my mind that sounds like me, but clearly isn't. Uh, unless I'm developing a schizo dual personality of two Timothys. Um, but every now and then it tells me things I didn't know, and I actually learned something. But it refuses to identify itself and pretends that it's me. You know, I'm going along thinking my thoughts, and I go, hey, wait a minute. That's not what I believe. That's not who I am. That's not what I think. Who are you? You know, or when they're talking about revenge or this or that, I'm like, no, shut up, you know, get away, get out. And then there's the, uh, the fact that I see faces in everything. And I'm trying to make some videos or photographs where I can pull out some of those things and emphasize them. Uh, because I'm trying to find out for myself whether it's just the brain damage from the covert hallucinogenics or whether there's actually something going on. Um, and, you know, it really frightens me as I realize that my whole life has been manipulated, that my, my entire life changed course because somebody decided to program me with some bad information, and I accepted it because I didn't know any better. And it was very powerful, and it changed me forever. Now, why can't something good do that? You know, I, uh, I was looking at some videos of me from the other house, and I looked like 90 years old. Man. It's, it's, I look a little better now, but in the right light, you can see I'm covered in sores. and Because uh, there's times when this stuff just... Uh, anyway... That's my complaining and my thinking for the morning. I'm really quite discombobulated at this point, but thanks for watching. Uh, sorry for your pain. I'm sorry that this is happening. And I'm sorry that people are so deluded. That they think this is the way for the future. Thanks for watching. God bless you all.